welcome back to Subterrain, where we have actually gathered all the parts we need to go and get this uh, shuttle off the ground. We can finally go and get ourselves. Oh, why can't I pick these guys up? Let's uh, let's transfer these guys over there. Now I'm going to try transferring these. No, okay, maybe I have too much stuff on me at the moment. I'm not entirely sure, but we're going to go to the Murray Space Center and see why it is that we haven't actually finished the game. My bet is on airlock control. I reckon we're not going to be able to open the front door or something silly like that. Uh, the reason I think that is because... Oh, look, it's already turned on. Nice. The reason that I think that is because last time we were there, we found some doors uh, beyond the shuttle that said uh, they were controlled from another point. So no doubt when we go and get everything sorted, it's going to give us some reason for not being able to leave. Okay, here we go. It's literally just up in front of us, so there, there should be no reason that we can't get this done. Uh, I'm a little thoughtful as to whether I need to put the space suit on first or not. Did we uh, completely raid this place out? We kind of did, but kind of didn't, if I remember correctly. Uh, we, we raided a few places, but then ran out of room in our backpack, plus also body parts litter the floor every... Why, why would I do that? Body parts litter the floor everywhere, but at the same time, there's none not too much of the goop around this place was bright bright green though the closer we get in the more bright green there appears to be around it's not great it's not great okay what am i going to swap to, uh, swap to here what type of gun oh, no i'm not going to allow that to happen uh, it's just just not a winning formula there this door down the bottom here keeps uh, grabbing my attention but we need to get to the shuttle hopefully there is nothing bad on the route or if there is it's things we can just walk up to and make explode with our shotgun by far the best way of dealing with stuff ah oh, guys just guys you know all right let's oh wait 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 one of these guys he he called light do you reckon he oh was this the last is this the last prison break the the last transfer hmm hmm that's a uh, very interesting all right let's see how we access this place there's a there's a doorway there do we put our put our spacesuit on first i've got a feeling no not on, not on the floor i've got a feeling that's the way we need to do it so let's try this first and see if we can get in there there isn't enough fuel to take off where do i put the fuel to take off? oh man this this is slow but where do we put the fuel to take off that's the next question i did have a, oh i do still have a whole bunch uh that's for the engineering chip which we fixed maybe this fuel storage okay awesome let's come down to the bottom here one two three four and five that is the minimum number i was told i needed okay this this door here time to get the hell out of here it really is let's let's get on out of here mr albert west Let's see what happens here. Okay, we're flying forward. So far, so good. Uh, is that even going to open? That's the question. Yes! Oh, wow. The airlock appears to be functional. And here we go. Leaving Mars MPO. Whatever the MPO stands for, no one knows. It's not even on the wiki. Or would you believe it? Albert West, after 17 days, 18 days, something like that, of running an entire colony on his home, grieving for the death of his wife whilst trying to struggle with the mutant invasion finally makes his escape off of Mars. After a short cruise, I made it to Mars Orbital Station. As I approached, a hail request lit up on the screen. Hail! A young man in a uniform suddenly appeared. Was he a soldier? Maybe Mars security? Ah, uh, he's gonna be Wayland's boy, He asked right? for my name, and I hesitated. I am a murderer after all fresh out of prison his eyes narrowed his face slowly became a scowl he was judging my sentence before i said a word he cut the transmission an ion cannon lined up with my shuttle firing two blasts towards me Ooh, boom boom the first missed but the second hit the shuttle square in the port side engine the explosion ripped the ship in half Flood of red warning lights swept over the consoles. <laughs> oh god, Albert, you're such a bad luck man, you know? I barely made it to the escape pod. I didn't even have time to eject. The force of the explosion propelled me away. That's, that's lucky, lucky. Christ, I almost made it. I almost made it. Oh, is he going back to Mars? Now, I'm aimlessly floating through space. Adrift. Forgotten. Ooh. 
like the Alien 3 setup, right? Classic. Classic. So, loading, what's gonna happen? Let's see- Oh no, we are actually on the surface of Mars! Seems like I was out for a bit. The damn pod still feels like it's spinning. I guess that's a good sign I haven't died yet. I still remember that the man's face just before he shot me down. They must have been waiting up there, but why? And why haven't they sent help? I guess I must have landed. All the monitors on the all the monitors are on the floor. I guess I took a tumble on the way down back down. I'm a little beat up, but but the seat's harness must have kept me from slamming in uh, slamming around in the pod. According to the diagnostic, life support's been knocked off entirely. I guess it's a good thing I followed safety protocols. Navcom's displaying an error. Looks like the pod was trying to get us as close to MPO as possible, but it went off course and a little uh, went off course a little at some point due to a mechanical failure. Oh man, I could use an aspirin. Oh man, I I, I could definitely use an aspirin. Wow, well, what are we supposed to do now? Let's just try and walk around a little bit and find a good area. Are we actually going to make our way back to MPO? There appears to be some sort of uh, pathway here. I I will I will take a pathway. It it's, it looks like it might be the way we're going. Following classic Mario rules, going to the right because you know what else are you going to do? Can I walk through this rock now? Can I walk up onto this rock? Okay, so they're using a a Factorio system. System of rocks by the looks of it so as long as there isn't a, a sharp edge you could probably walk onto it man uh, honestly where am I supposed to be going here it's uh, quite the quite the explore am I am I expecting to find anything am I expecting to find anything that is maximum zoom out the fact that I've started up in the top left Let's, let's go down this way. This might be like serious metagaming. Am I contamination 19? I wonder if I need to be contamination zero. Ooh. Oh, I wonder if that would have even made a difference. Probably not. Probably not. That's not really how these games work, right? That, this seems like a, an entirely scripted story piece. Rocks, cliffs, walls, places, things to get around. All right, I'm going to carry on walking around until I find something more useful than the sides of rocks. Uh, assessment. Man, what a mess. The pod, pod was trashed from the landing and we're in the middle of nowhere. I can see MPO, but I'm not really sure which side I'm looking at. It's only a few kilometers away, but how the heck am I going to get back inside? Don't I ever recall seeing an airlock in most districts, but there's got to be some other way in. Maybe an access hatch or some sort of maintenance area? Hmm, I'm not entirely sure, but it looks like there's some kind of structure between me and MPO. It's small though, much smaller than any MPO's domes. It could be some sort of service elevator. I'm not sure why there'd be one this far out, but I don't really have any other options. Worst case scenario, there might be a terminal I can access. Okay, all right. What? what, what where am I going? Do Do I have a, a marker? I don't. I don't have a marker. Just so, some kilometers this way. Okay, fine. Now I'm gonna go up and around this rock because it doesn't look like I can get through that. Alright, I've, I've spied the structure. There's the structure he was talking about. I'm not sure I'm supposed to actually get in here. Let's just keep spinning around so that we get a bit of a better view. Um, it, it's not, not the best for orientation, but it really does help my map. Uh, can I not just sneak through here? Oh man, really? Alright, finally crept up on this place. It looks green. It looks like there might be a little bit of a problem here. Wait, there's, there's nothing going on here. Wait, 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 what am I supposed to be doing? I literally see nothing. Okay, can't access these. Hmm, alright, let's try walking to the other end here. There might be something going on. Uh, th there's actually not. There's actually nothing. What, well, what am I supposed to do here? Hmm... Just got an almost there message from Albert. Okay. Oh, this is what I'm looking for. This looks a little less green. Okay, that's that's cool. I can walk up and, and press the side. All right, let's let's go inside and see what happens. What I mean, what other choice do I have? Wow, what is this place? A corpse on the ground. I recognise the uniform. Mars security. Something was different though. He wasn't wearing the regular name tags most guards do. He might be dead, but maybe his belongings can tell me something. This guy didn't have a whole lot on him, but he did have a badge in his pocket. Mars Security Division is written across the front. Bodyguard written underneath MPO steel seal. A bodyguard out here. I can think. I can't think of anyone else that would need a, bo uh, a bodyguard, except uh, especially here. Well, except 
my old boss, Jeff Murray. This has to be Murray's mansion. I heard a rumour that it was uh, so outlandish. Secret tunnels, private trams, team of personnel that work behind the scenes. It made Murray sound like an entrepreneur, and more uh, less like an entrepreneur, and more like a villain from a secret agent movie. Uh, Reskowalski used to brag about him being invited here, but no one ever believed him. I guess it wasn't so far-fetched. There wasn't any shuttle on the landing pad outside, and he has to have, has to have escaped by now. And this bodyguard probably tried uh, died trying to escort him out. Whatever this may, uh, whatever this is made made it all the way here too. Whatever th oh whatever this is made it all the way here too. I wonder if there's anything here that will explain what the hell happened. Maybe I can find another way off of Mars. Maybe we can find another way off of Mars. I mean that would be nice. Why is this place? Do I, did I bring any drinks? Did I bring any drinks? I could do with a drink. What are we at? 36. Let's uh, let's just knock back a soft drink. That would be nice. I'm, I'm looking tired. Could probably do with a little bit of a sleep. Hello. Look, there's someone else. Uh, we were said, said his belongings might help. No, nothing nothing there. Okay, that's worth a look, though. Uh, what about you? Right, do I need to be wearing this in here? Did, did I actually... I have got my colonial suit. Don't put it on the floor. Put it on. Is that all right? Can I, can I do that? Am I all right with that? Is anything going to kill me here? No, I think not. Okay, that that that's good. That's good. I'm uh, just in case. Not not saying I'm gonna need them. Gonna put these on my bar here. Uh, it it might be a thing. A little disappointed I didn't get to use the uh, the plasma launcher. What is look at this? Ew. Little disappointed. Little disappointed. Uh, oxygen filter, handkerchief. Like what what is this? But wait, what's that? Nano SSD. Well, wow, nice, nice. Nothing really of particular note. Muscle Max. I'm just gonna eat that. I'm just gonna eat that. Hello, what have we got? Ah, spiders. Yep, actually made it out here. Uh, what can we do about this? We can use our shotgun. That guy hit me hard. Uh, one more? Yeah, there we go. And then we got this guy to take care of. That shouldn't be too much of a problem as long as I can keep powering out the shots like this. There we go. Now the spiders are gonna die. I should just wait for them to die because that will save the durability on my gun. And as it as of such a terrible shot, I'm going to need it. I'm going to need it. All right, that's one room cleared. Is it good, though? We don't really need to uh, to try and keep hold of anything. We're not here to scavenge. We are here just to try and find a way off of this planet. You never know. You never know. I should actually keep an eye on my uh, stamina and condition. Let's do a heal. And then let's also, once that's taken care of, do a decontam. Nice. That should uh, just just help us ease us through the last couple of areas here. Okay, that's nice. Not really what I'm after. Uh, if we could kill some more of these shooting spiders. I'm not. I'm, I'm really not after the little guys. You know. I just want to. Ah, oh, man. I'm bad at this. I'm bad. There we go. Much better. Oh, no, 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 no. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. All right, cool. What's in the next room? So far, just individual uh, individual rooms with individual bad guys. But that was kind of expected. Um, you are big, though. Uh, can we get another one in there? Okay, that's that's nice. I was uh, quite lucky with my dodging there. There was a couple of times where I thought he probably would have had me, but no, turns out not. Oh, first decision of the game. Well, let's go this way because I always like to go on like the uh, the enclosed areas, if you will. Uh, by that I mean the fact that if you look up on the map, it's it's kind of more bounded than the uh, the area below. That could just go anywhere. All right, nothing really of note. I mean, what what am I likely to find? Barrel parts, level one photon grenades, terrible shotgun. Oh, we'll keep it just in case. You never know. I might like run out of shotgun durability and then really, really, really have to try and do something about that. Uh, okay, looking good around this way. Small targets to deal with. I'm fine with that. Is this too far for him to notice? Yeah, it was. It was too far for him to know. It's cool. Vents are on the floor. I mean, where else are they going to be? More people. Okay. How many people does he keep? Oh, it's one of those guys. Let's throw a grenade. It's a good way of, of dealing with these things. Oh, let's uh, let's do another one, shall we? All right. Awesome. Oh, that didn't put him down. Will this put him down, though? Come on. Get put down. Get put down. Oh, that was a, a, a really bad, really bad dodge. All right. We good now? We good now. Ooh, intense, intensity has arisen. We've got a crossroads up ahead. Who knows what is on either direction of there. Oh, 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 it got busy. Uh, busy is a good time for grenades. Because it's less that 
whenever I can I can get away with firing at more than one with a grenade, that's better. Are you just like stuck there or are you stunned? I'm not sure, but if I fire anymore, I'm gonna lose my pistol, so we're gonna have to I'm gonna charge. Charge! Bam! Bam! Like so many of these are not hitting the bad guy. There we go, that's what I want. Little guys die. Little guys die. Right, what we got up in here? Looks like no one survived here either. It does indeed look that way. Let's go over this way, because I did see those bad guys over there, but if we can get a nice little hit on this cocoon, we can then start whittling down the guys further down. My sword is starting to actually take a little bit of a more severe beating. Shotguns at the ready. Changed my mind. Let's get the pistol out on that guy. Uh, oh no, no, don't, don't run towards it. That's a bad plan. That's like one of the worst plans you've ever tried to enact. It wasn't actually the plan. It was just what actually played out. Uh, let's throw another one of those. Wasn't enough. Need to recharge my power pack. Okay, that's uh, not the best timing. Did I recharge my power pack? Yes, I did. Good. Good. Oh man, that that could have been bad. Could have been very bad. All right, that's nice. What, what am I actually trying to do here? What am I actually trying to do? At the moment, I'm just kind of like clearing rooms out. That's, that's, that's really just too much hassle. Too much hassle. Let's just close this room. I don't even... Oh, there is no close. Oh, okay. So that's why. Because there's no close. If there was a close button, I would totally just abandon these guys. But as there's not, we're just going to have to deal with it as is. Can I please... All right, that was good. This this corridor, it's getting pretty gory. Getting pretty gory. All right, you can be finished here. Come on, let's do this. Okay, room threat level significantly decreased. Do we get a uh, an infection level here? We do. Look, we're at 50%. I'm fairly sure going through the way I am, I'm going to be dropping those numbers. What is this? Mansion gate key card required. Okay, so we have a new target for the thing we are looking for. There's not really many places that things can be at, so... Uh that's that's cool. All right, what have we got through this room? We've got a spider. Let's uh, deal with that in the most efficient way we can. Ideally, just by letting it get close and then hitting it with a shotgun. Um, I, I think the shotgun is the best durability to bullet ratio. I might be wrong there. All right, let's just quickly see if there's anything we need to deal with. Mm, this guy definitely does. Two. Oh, don't get hit by that sort of stuff man uh, jellyfish also just came out of that room oh, I'm bad at this I'm, I'm terrible at this okay as this one's open let's go and have a look looks like just some sort of holding room maybe oh don't don't do that don't just don't don't even try and creep up on me like that that's it's a bad plan for both you and me uh, so is this a toilet that'd be hilarious no it's not a toilet it is the front room maybe i'm not sure oh individual sleeping areas that's uh interesting to say the least right what we got here mattress cover i was kind of expecting don't don't be complaining about being tired man just because you've seen a bed doesn't mean that that's going to be the thing it's kind of expecting the mansion key to be in here no pajamas Woo. Uh, okay so if that's not the case maybe it's one one of these other rooms this is all food and stuff what do we reckon we've got behind this door very very busy door that, that's what I reckon we got behind here. Uh, let's do that. Don't, don't. I, I really don't want to get hit. Man, he expands a good one when he's coming in for you. I, I appear to be uncontaminated. Oh, look, I did do a decontamination pill. When did that happen? Uh, I probably didn't mean to. I probably meant to do some healing instead. Uh, anything going to be waiting for us in any of these? It's not unknown, but they are quite small spaces. All right, cool. Last room, well, last door to go check is this one up over here. Got a feeling it's going to feed back in nicely. Hello. I was kind of expecting a lot of bad guys here. All right, what we got here? Hacked key card class C. That's nice, but not exactly what I'm after. Uh, shouldn't really be scaving now because I've got no way of breaking stuff down, right? Um, that's something to bear in mind. Those are all those. And in here. Okay, so like this is the most awkward to get to door? I don't get it. I don't get it. What is this? It's a storage area. An empty storage area, though. Knife photon grenades. That's nice. Bunch more knives. Why, why would you have all this stuff? Okay, that that's kind of cool. I'm going to take the power pack. 
It's going to be useful at some point, no doubt. We are having to walk around. No, the power is on. The power is on. It's just easier to see with a torch burning. Okay, let's do this. All right, that, that was fairly fairly smooth, actually. Fairly smooth. There was a nice door to get around. We're going to have to swap down to our terrible shotgun soon. I wonder if the durability uh, is only on the main core parts. Oh, do, do I want to look in here? I, mean, I still don't have a map marker, so who knows? Oh, this is a nice room. Oh, it's a very nice room. With a window going uh, into this this research area. Is that a window into a research area? Uh, it's very un unusual. Oh, look, we've got another research area here. Can I sit down and use this? What is, what is this? No, it's not a thing I can interact with. What do we have over here? Murray's phone call. Let's, let's listen in, shall we? Hello, Dr. West. I've heard a lot about you. Oh, that's me. Hello, Mr. Murray. Thank you for the invitation. Not at all, kid. So tell me about this research uh, you have proposed. You mentioned you have a way to create nanomachines that can indefinitely inhabit the body. What are you planning to do? Uh, what, what are you planning to do with something like that? Uh, well, Mr. Murray, no need for that, kid. Just Jeff is fine. Uh, oh, sure. Well, Jeff, my wife has a disease I don't know how to fight without constant maintenance. She has Alzheimer's. Can't she do the ultrasound? I mean, I've done it. It works wonders. Unfortunately, she ha uh, <laughs> she'd have to be in ultrasound indefinitely. She needs constant maintenance. Nano machines could solve that this in theory, but I can't move past just pro uh, proposing it. It will take a lot of money, a lot of test material, and everything is about it is controversial and illegal. I'm probably already being monitored just talking about it over the phone. I understand this entirely, Dr. West. We can continue this conversation through a VPN link to my Earth offices. Please, head over there tomorrow. Check in at reception. I think I can help you with your wife. Really? Thank you, Jeff. I'll be over first thing tomorrow. Hey, this is... This, I remember that. Well, I don't, because that wasn't actually part of my, uh, my gameplay. But that's why I'm here, right? Because, because Mr. Murray believed in me. What a guy. What a guy. That's why I've been collecting statues on him, because he's he's such a, a solid chap. Do I get a sleep? Do I get a sleep? What happens if I sleep here? I don't, I don't know what's going to happen if I sleep here. But so far, nothing. But the fatigue is not exactly being drained away as fast as I as I would imagine. Uh, it normally it normally drops a lot quicker than that. We're, we're gonna have to wait a few more moments. Four, three, two, one, go. All right, cool. Everything still seems all right. That was a lot of time for time to pass. So who knows? Where, where are you going? Hello. <laughs> we're just we're gonna follow this guy because he's he's gonna go back to his dude. And that look, look there was another one. Hey, hey, hey. Where, where are you guys going? Yeah, 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 yeah. What what you got to do about it? That that was weird. Uh, obviously respawn time whilst I slept. So cool. But man, uh, yeah, that was a bit weird. Little 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 guiding spider. Little guiding spider. Right. Now we have seen things that have made me think that maybe we need to go in guns blazing to this bit up here. Can I Oh, what's this? Mansion security door. Okay, this is this is deadly in here. We know it to be deadly in here. Let's throw another one of those. Hopefully we can Oh. Don't dodge right into their spit. That would be nice. All right, cool. That was pretty good. That was a, a fairly well-controlled entrance. Could definitely have been more powerful, but could definitely have gone a lot worse. I need to charge my power. Are you, are you kidding? All right, let's take this guy on. Oh, oh, oh bad dodge. Oh, I'm, I'm bad at this. Let's just stand here toe-to-toe -to -toe with him. Bah. <laughs> All right, power pack out of energy. Let's deal with that. I need to find somewhere to charge my power pack. That that would be exceedingly useful. Let's see if we can do this without. Uh, you know what? I've, I've, I've only got a few of these, but I don't know why I'm going to need too many more. I've got 12. That should be fine, right? Bam. Oh, that really should have killed him. That that was a lot, lot of uh, repercussions for one small brain bug. Okay, so, uh-huh. They're all, uh, these are all of my notes. West Research is on the front. Everything's in here. They even have the research proposal I sent Murray before he invited me. They highlighted a few things and wrote notes at the bottom. 
Alzheimer's is caused by neurotoxic plaques that adhere to the brain tissue. This is treatable with ultrasound, and even for patients at risk, getting ultrasound once every month or so can manage the disease. Jennifer, however, is different. She needs to be constantly exposed to ultrasound in order to keep the disease at bay, which isn't possible. Overexposure to ultrasound can be just as harmful as Alzheimer's itself. Nanomachines are a non-invasive... I disagree strongly. Sorry, I just had to stop there. Nanomachines are very invasive. Way to deal with the problem. They could directly manipulate plaques that have already formed to prevent new ones from starting constantly without interfering with the brain's function. I have designed them to reproduce autonomously by harvesting carbon and copper from the bloodstream, ensuring that the effect would be permanent. I'm confident I can adapt these nanomachines for other diseases and purposes once I have finished treating Jeff Jennifer. Uh, fellow specifications are... Specifications, wait, I remember this. These were some of the l last notes I wrote before I was thrown in prison. Something is wrong with the current code. The nanomachines are uh, improperly handling instructions and erroneously mending tissue. Even worse, when there was no plaque to destroy, they tear into other tissues to make busy work. It's time to go back to the drawing board. I'm going to extensively scale back the capability of the nanomachines and remove the self-replicating -replic aspect. It's too, mu uh, it's too much, too dangerous, and it would be better to re-administer the nanomachines after they wear out, should something go wrong. There's nothing of note in this one. Finish the project if you can't. If you can't, you'll end up in as West roommate. Ah. Uh, Ah, uh, that's not Jeff's mark. Oh, it's uh, it's, it's Roscoe, right? Uh, Rarasquitz or whatever his name is. Tim, Tim, it's him. It's all his fault. That's that's who I'm blaming. That's who I'm blaming. All right, let's do a hill. Let's do a hill. I've got a feeling we're gonna have some bad things on the other side of this door. Do one of those. Do one of these. I'm I'm also gonna drop a Mars Mari. I'm very interested. What's on the other side? Hello. All right, we've got some bad guys, but nothing actually too specific. Can I? Yeah, yeah, beat you up with a with a knife. That's exactly what I really wanted to do. But as I'm here doing it, let's let's get it on. Come on. Oh, that those were probably pretty heavy hits. Uh, I wasn't really paying attention to my actual uh, health bar though. Man, I actually have to swap out this shotgun. It's uh, it's gonna be bad. Is that good? Do we have any nano reconstruction technology here? Hmm, not by the looks of it. Alright, what have we got? Nothing in there. Frame. I, I, I'm i gonna have to search around looking for key cards, I think. Oh, li like that. Like that. Okay. Key pass, confession pass one. I, I, I will do with those. Uh, soft drinks, lovely. Uh, doing alright for drinks. Contamination is good. Healing is going up. Alright, let's uh, let's see what this con confession is all about, shall we? Uh, whoever you are, well, you're the only hope anyone has. Who am I? I'm Murdoch Rorowskitz. <laughs> I'm the man who never wanted to go to Mars, who never wanted to be a scientist, but I've got some deaf fingers and a mind for security protocols. And when I see something like that, I take it. I've made a name for myself without a scientific breakthrough of my own. Too bad thieving isn't the answer to this mess. I worked in Herbert Research as a lab assistant, but really what I was doing was scal uh, scalping research and sending it back to the labs on Earth. Mars didn't have the restrictions Earth did on research, and lots of research came to MPO with the intentions of doing research not allowed on Earth. Researchers, sorry. Albert West was one of those hopeful scientists. He was experimenting on humans with nanomachines to cure some sort of Alzheimer's mutation. I worked with him for months and saw potential for more than just a profit. The effects on one sample were, let's say, too good to pass up. I conducted a test of my own. I regret that I ever did it. I should never have approached Murray. I've been trapped. <laughs> I've trapped that bastard in his own panic room. But I've got a lot I need to get off my chest. Ah, oh, confession type one is done. Okay, to the panic room then, right? That's there's nothing else to be to be got from here. Looks like it. All right, let's uh, let's see what we can do with this shotgun because I'm a little worried that we're going to end up not having a functioning pot shotgun. Oh yeah, new shotgun has got loads of durability. I love it. All right, security door, panic room. Let's see what we got. Hello. Is is scary, but it's not the 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 scariest I've faced. Let's just try and take these out however I can. Hello. So we've got some spiders to worry about. Let's get a gun out for that. In fact, let's just do one of these. That that grenade sound did not kick in at the right time. Not even close. Currently just sucker punching. Uh, works for me. Works for me. Unfortunately, this cocoon is totally in the way. Did I get him or did I not? I don't... I'm not entirely sure. Maybe we can go over the top. Oh, shot... Drop my gun. 
that that was not what I wanted. All right, kamikaze. Well, hopefully not. Hopefully it's uh, well controlled, well coordinated. I mean, that, that's to say the kamikazes weren't controlled or coordinated. It's probably uh, given doing them a disservice, but but still, I trying not to kill myself. Uh, mansion security door confession part two. Wait, 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 wait. Security door is that okay? Confession part two. Here we go. The main selling point of West Nano Machines was how they operated. These little robots would inject it into, the, uh, into a benign location and travel through the blood to the brain on a mission to remove plaque and re rebuild lost tissue. They self-propagated through the bloodstream, harvesting iron and other materials from blood cells to replicate. Self-propagating nanomachines and related research is strictly prohibited on Earth. West sample was worth a fortune. At first, West was utilizing synth synthesized flesh and brain matter to test, but he couldn't get accurate data without a living test subject. The robots were overzealous in their objective and started breaking down flesh simply so it had something to repair. He scaled back the aggressiveness and limited how often they could reproduce. Uh, he was taking it to the wrong direction. I could feel the cash slipping out of my fingers. I framed West, swapping a failed sample with his current test samples. It was perfect, except for one thing. He lived. I guess he's just a bit more spry than he looks. Luckily, the murder of the test subject got him thrown in prison by Mars security. Murray probably had something to do with that, now that I think about it. Mm. West was locked up tight, so I took the remaining samples and boxed them up, giving them a fancy name, Minerva. Minerva was worth a lot in the hands of someone capable, though uh, I thought that someone was me. I can't believe what an idiot I was. I mean, seriously, what an idiot. What an idiot. Okay, security door two. What have we got? Uh, one of these pre-Martians. No, no biggie, though. No biggie. Uh, no. Not. Not the, uh, not the sword. As fun as that was. Oh, no. That's, that's not the one for me. All right, let's, uh, let's do a heal. I've noticed we've taken a few hits. Generally, we're doing actually pretty A-OK. -okay. Uh, one thing I did notice was that we've got some visitors but also that we've got some mark to photon grenades in the wrong place they should be in my hot bar slot and they're just hanging in my inventory why is this so hard to take out actually this one go 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 yeah nice 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 uh me melee is pretty good when you can do it uh it's just the range guys you gotta worry about okay i'm not seeing anyone else out here little spiders uh, let's do it one two okay that's cool you're gonna start to want to spit but when you've done that we can just launch into you for a little bit until you're ready to spit again there we go learning the pans learning the pans all right what have we got over here let's move this out of the way We've got a couple of dead bodies on the floor We've got one over here do we have a uh, confession anywhere I'm, I'm expecting to find one confession mark three a mansion security door what else have we got in these other things nothing really oh i'm gonna uh, just not not back that bit why not let's do it all right so over this way confession part three i present the research to murray as if it was my own but he knew i was full of stuff he knew why i was on mars in the first place i thought he'd report me to the board strip me of my position in front of my peers make an example of me but he promoted me he said he could tr trust me now because i knew what who held my leash that's the thing you need to know about murray he only trusts people he can control he saw the results and he wanted more. Obviously, I wasn't about to do that, and the only guy who probably w could was in prison. Murray tasked me to find capable research and assign researchers and assign them to the project. Maybe I was lucky that West fell into my lap in the first place, because none of the others even had a clue where to start with his self-replicating self nanomachines. I don't see why he'd want to push the research further anyway. Minerva was good enough on its own to sell. It would have been worth a fortune to various labs back on Earth. These big shop visionaries can't appreciate a proven business model. Research is something you can get a huge return off of, uh, a return on if you sell everything, uh, if you sell it to everyone at the same time. I was getting paid pretty well though. Eventually I stopped protesting his decisions to keep it. I was too busy enjoying the luxuries of Mars to care anymore. I was getting what I wanted. Murray wasn't though. It quickly became an obsession. Uh, Murray is obsessed, hey? Little door. Oh, what, what, what's through here? This this doesn't feel good. Why would you give me another room like this? Uh, both my power packs are dead. Ah, uh, this is this just feels bad. You know, this just feels bad. Uh, I am healing. I am decontaminating. I've got a shotgun on my go. Why are there so many little side rooms? Ah, that every door is just another. What? Stairs? Not expected. Okay, let's have a look through the doors. What do we see? Many, many more deads. Many more deads, but I'm not seeing many alive. Okay, what is this? The trap! I can't. 
Can't just read it like that. I've got to put it into my inventory. Okay, the trap. April 9th, Hector and Nora are missing. Murray said they quit and thinking they're dead. We have a mole or we're getting sloppy. If it's a mole, they can't be very close to the source. I'm still here after all. We got a new pair of researchers to replace Hector and Nora. Kate and James. I guess they have been together for a long time. They were part of a group with replacements for the other research teams. I'm wondering if the other teams are losing members for similar reasons. It's too much of a risk to ask though. It's taking less and less time to convince the new people how thin of a tightrope we're walking with all the Minerva test subjects around. Some of the older specimens don't even look human anymore. Murray's been sending out security teams to try and recover a bunch of software for, for facilities around Central. He's made pretty ang uh, He made a pretty angry phone call to Agatha, the old hag that I used to work under in Herbert. I guess that witch has gone nuts sin since her cats went missing. This must be why members of the other research teams went missing as well. Those, bl those blueprints were never supposed to get out. I heard Murray call it a security risk when on a call. That's the same guy that's making mutant zombies in the lab less than 10 meters away. Unbelievable. We have to make a move. Murray's guards were sniffing around the mainframe's locked door. I was the sole person with access aside from Murray. I can't be caught. I don't have any idea what they'll do to me. Dr. Cameron finished with the hardware for the purification device, but it'll be for nothing by the end of the day. Lassiter agrees that we need to take Murray out, but he says there's no way he'd be able to sneak a gun in and we'll all basically be executed out of suspicion for collusion. We gotta fake out the security team and make him retreat to his bunker out of fear. After that, we can trap him. Dr. Khan finished with that upgrade a while back for Central Control's computer, so everything's in place for the lockdown. I even have an idea. Cat and James can't claim they know how to rig the shuttle's navigation software to be remote controlled via communications. The plan is to have the shuttle take off and crash in into the distance, hopefully shake uh, shaking the mansion. Murray will think that there's an attack, his cards will probably go on full alert, it's gonna work. We trapped them. Kate and James are dead. The shuttle took off and crashed, just as planned, but James must have got caught. I watched them on security feeds as he was dragged into the Minerva labs by the guards. They shot him in front of Kate. She became enraged and charged at them. The two guards fired, fired on her as she did, breaking a bunch of test samples of Minerva in the process. Bits of the samples went everywhere. Murray wasn't fooled by, fooled by the cash for very long, so Dr. Cameron stalled him inside the sanctum, claiming he saw Earth soldiers storming the halls above. Murray spooked. This brought us a few more moments while I activated my hash cipher. I didn't warn Cameron though, I had no choice. Murray had to be contained. Dr. Cameron got stuck inside Murray's sanctum with a few of his assistants. It was quiet for a little while, I even heard some chatter. Shortly after that though, I heard screaming and more monstrous noises. I thought Murray was dead, but then I heard him over the door's intercom asking to be let out. It was like nothing had happened. I didn't answer the intercom. I've shut the doors leading out of the basement for now. I can hear people screaming through the walls. It's happening, I'm all alone. Is that you? Are you happening? Are you all alone? So what, what's, what's through these side doors here? Bad guys, right? Uh, oxygen control? Like who, who broke all this? Oh, that's an actual working thermoregulator. I mean, I could have come in and got like, all sorts of stuff. Uh, that, so that's pretty cool. Is this the oxygen? Where, where's the power? I need some power. Please. Please, just power is needed. There's only... Th well, I mean, I suppose I can just throw lots and lots and lots of thermal grenades at people. All right, what have we got over here? This is a uh, mansion security door. Locked door, did we... No, no, we can't get through there. Uh, that is also... What about this one? Is it the same locked door? No, this is an open door. What have we got here? It's, uh, it's another research room. Okay, let's see what we can find. Are any of these interactable? It doesn't actually look like it. Let's put... <gasps> Press Q is what I was trying to do. <laughs> uh, I'm good at the video games. Uh, confession part four, purification. Purification. Okay, let's uh, have, let's start with the confession and then we'll get on to purification, shall we? As it turns out, West's work was more precise than we ever realised. He wasn't designing this with eventual profits in mind. He wasn't some philanthropist hoping to cure everyone. Minerva was specifically t tuned to his own wife's particular case of dementia, which was apparently strictly abnormal. As a consequence, Minerva will never be, able be fully effective on anyone else. Not in this state, at least. It seems pointless to develop it further, but anyone on the project's team that questioned Murray would be reassigned shortly after. I kept my mouth shut and my head down. I figured I'd rather be... Uh, I'd rather pursue a pointless cure than end up in a cell like West. For weeks we continued to test the new sample in vain, fully aware there was no end in sight. 
Murray eventually realised he was out of options. He had to bring Jennifer West to the colony to continue the project. Things quickly got out of hand after she arrived. Murray had begun intervening personally, adjusting Minerva on his own. The new samples were much different from the ones we were working on. The new samples caused test subjects to rapidly mutate, destroying and creating new flesh constantly. This new form of life is perfectly suited for Mars, having no need for respiration and requiring minimal caloric energy to function. That's just the beginning though. From what little I actually understood from our test sample data, the flesh comes back stronger with each regeneration cycle. These creatures were not sentient. They were more like beasts than humans. Murray kept mumbling in his own term though, Martian. The rest of the team that I began, uh, the rest of the team and I began countermeasures behind his back, but it was too late. He began planning this for, so he had been planning this for some time. The best I could do was trap him in his panic room until someone could take him out. It doesn't make up for what I've done. I just pray that he doesn't eventually figure a way to get out. Well, I mean, he might. So these ones are actually from. Jennifer, is this, this what we're saying? Murray's been tuning Minerva to colder climates and environments with little to no oxygen. He says it's to cut down the oxidation damage and overclock the nanomachines without risk, but I don't understand why. Minerva's for living things after all, and I'm sure as hell like breathing and being warm. He won't even let any of us touch the AI software anymore. The rest of us on the Minerva team are stuck with the test samples, reports with the occasional requests to support the other research teams. My team knows what Minerva can do, and the, that thought that he's changing it behind closed doors makes us uncomfortable. One day, Minerva will be too difficult to contain. We've been working to battle Minerva during our off-duty hours, or in between our tasks during the day. We discovered that if we broadcast interference signals on the same frequency that, we, uh, that the nanomachines communicate with, we can dampen Minerva's rate of spreading and evolution. It won't stop it, but it's something. We've poked around the systems in the basin, and Dr. Cameron thinks we can modify the noisy mainframe in there to monitor the situation with some modifications. He thinks in time we can use the mainframe to, communicate, uh, to collect communication data in order to sabotage the replication and cause self-destruct. I guess it's up to me now. The only way purification will occur is if I can manage to pull it together. I'm sure no one else can. Alright, well, that, that, that seems perfectly legit and reasonable. So was this door unlocked? It was unlocked. Okay, let's just go and have a look and see what's going on. Wide open spaces, save point. The switch won't work. What is this? Hello? It's a big door. The gate. Whoa, the size of an airlock. There's a few sickly notes here near what I'm guessing are the controls. The first note is near a thrown switch. The writing is sort of sloppy and smeared, but it's legible. The gate won't power unless the power console at Central reports all contamination of Minerva samples. Uh, the second note was near the first, near the off light. It's been written more sloppily. Uh, begin data collection via terminal and use equipment in Nielsen produced prototypes. Install in all auxiliary locations that have communication. Another note was stuck in the lower half of the previous one. Ensure constant power to prototypes to allow upload to RAID 0 storage. Once finished, prototype transmission uh, transmitters will activate and transmit. It will take time for this. The last note is barely clinging, hanging on to the right side of the console. There's some raised indentations on the note. They can't control the others. They can't get out with, the, with these roaming around. It would end everything. There's something written on the back. Please tell Safina and log in... And, and, Longin Rowalskit, the Murdoch says he's sorry. Ah, oh, so this is from Murdoch. Uh, well, I mean, like, no, no one cares whether Murdoch's sorry or not. He, he did the worst. He, this is, this is literally all his fault. Literally all his fault. All right, let's see what's behind the security door. Hello. All right, looking nice, looking nice. Can I interface with this purification data? I don't, I don't actually have purification data. Uh, where, where do we get the purification data from? The machine's humming pretty loud. A loose pile of notes is sitting in the face of the console. One of the last things Dr. Cameron warned me about was not to pull the switch until we're ready. Once activated, the purification, purification system is supposed to activate a bunch of receivers and transmitters around MPO. This should collect the data we need to develop our countermeasure, but this process effectively functions as a signal booster. Cameron's very sure this would speed up the spread of the maneuver through our colony. I can't even take a look at one of those things, and the thought of the, creating many hundreds more at the flick of the switch terrifies me. It doesn't end there. I have to get these new oxygen filters and thermal regulators into the oxygen and thermal generators in the contaminated districts. The current contamination systems we've hooked up to the collection data won't be able to transmit these signals everywhere, so our solution is to hook up these special filters and regulator life support systems using the connected pipes and ventilation as antennae. 
few districts are unpowered at the moment. It looks like the reactor is losing power, which is concerning. That'll be an issue if I'm going to keep these transmitters powered all at the same time. It'll probably take a day of simultaneous operation to allow a compute, complete upload of all the filters and regulators. Oh god, I thought I heard something. I hope none of them are waiting outside. I need to collect supplies if I'm going to do this. I need to head back to the lab. I could make it out past the lab area. I'm sure they're all over the mansion by now. The most I could do was lock the doors. I'm also out of decontamination pills and there's no way I can make it down the hill hall without getting torn to pieces. I can't become one of them. I keep praying that a rescue will show up and I know that throwing the switch would make the rescue even more unlikely. I don't know what to do. The reactor is still losing power but I noticed something even more strange. Central control is still uncontaminated. At least according to the software update that I asked Dr. Can to install. It's probably an error, but if it were truly uncontaminated, that means you wouldn't need to you wouldn't need a set of prototypes. You can purify what is you can't purify what isn't there. I'm not sure what I'm thinking about uh, why I'm thinking about this, but I'm not going to live much longer to figure it out. A bunch of sectors lost power due to the reactor's condition. Even if I could get out there, I'd have to repair the reactor before I could keep all the oxygen and thermal reactors powered while data is uploaded. I have no idea how to repair it though. This plan may be dead in the water. Wow. Wow, the machine is humming pretty loudly. So we don't throw that switch yet. We need to find purification data. Keep us. Mansion gate. Oh, we'll take one of those. Thanks very much. Thanks very much. So, the, the, like, how are we getting out of here? That's that's the question. So, the mansion gate actually is down at the very front of the building. Let's uh, let's go and check that out because I now think, yeah, we are very close to uh, to having this whole place explored. All right, here we go. The mansion front door in front of what I assume to actually be reception. Now that I take a moment to look around. All right, let's open the door. See what's going on outside. Nothing there. Anything on here? Ah, oh, we've got a, a, a our own little private shuttle. Where is it going? Where does it go? It's not actually going to tell me, is it? It's just going to happen. I've got a feeling we're actually going to Nielsen Engineering. If I remember correctly, there is actually another line up there. Uh, but we'll find out. We'll find out. This is this is just my gut gut feeling. It's not telling me how long this is going to take. This is taking a while. That, that was like an hour and a half, something like that. That was that was time. All right, let's have a look. Where are we? Hopefully, the UI will spot pop up and tell us uh, research okay we're in the research labs that's slightly different to where I thought we'd be but you know whatever okay what is this a room that I've never been into it kind of is wow wow this this one's on hmm very intriguing have I just never been able to get through this door that no I've not ever been able to get through that door Ah, okay. In fact, I don't even think that door was displayed last time I was here. I I would put a lot of money on it being a wall. Hmm. Well, anyway, here we are back in central control. And with that, I am going to say thank you very much for joining me for this adventure, ladies and gentlemen. Turns out we know, we knew, we knew why we couldn't finish the game and that's because there are so many other zombies going around we need to go and replace everything with the highest level tech we can which means we gotta go back to leo but i will see you then or and we're gonna do that bye oh this is really deadly